Hi there guys and girls and welcome to the final video uh, about the E3 version of Mortal Kombat. Um, this is me answering your questions that you guys submitted uh, over the last week, which is four pages of questions. So a lot of these, I, I was planning on originally just having questions about the E3 version of Mortal Kombat sent to me, but you guys seem to just send a whole lot of questions so at first I wasn't going to answer them but I'll do my best to answer them a lot I can't answer because I don't know the answers either like you know some someone will ask me how many fatal how many fatalities does each character have I don't know you know Ed Boon said at least two his words but that doesn't confirm two three four five I don't know you know so I'm just going to jump right in now and get to this because oh, four pages of questions so I'll start with the first question, which was Gemini Boy 414 asks, who's your top five favorite characters? Why and do you think they'll make the cut? Well, pretty much I think anyone's top five favorite characters would make the cut, unless you had obscure characters were your favorite. Um, I haven't really sat down and thought what are my top five favorite characters, but I can tell you, you know, if it's based on Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, uh, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Reptile are gonna be in there. Um, uh, as for the other two, you know, I know Nightwolf's in there, I really like him. Mm, I like Sindel, I don't know if she's in the game, so well, I'm just going to go with those, I guess. Um, but, you know, it depends how they play, you know, they become my favourite characters after I play them, so. Sindel and MK3 I love because her combos were easy to pop up, she had air fireball, great character to, to really mess her, uh, really stop people, you know. If you're up against a hard player, you whip out Sindel, you can do some real good damage. Alright, next question is from ShweeB64. Are you going to start reviewing MK Conquest again soon? Yes. Starmind4 asks, do you think Blaze would come out on MK9 because he is in the pit from MK2? It's possible, but, um, you know, because this is a historical change, the story, you know, is going a different way. It's possible that Blaze won't be there, and uh, we haven't seen Blaze in the background yet, so we've seen a whole lot of other characters, so it's hard to say at this point. Uh, Critters Rule 247 asks, do you think they will put Baraka, and do you think he will have the Blades either only come out for moves and fatalities, like MK2 will be able to come out? At will like in MK Deception again. I think he's talking about the blades. I don't know. Maybe I didn't copy this properly. I'm not sure what's happened here. He's talking about the blades though. Um, I definitely think Baraka will be in the game, and uh, I agree. His blades should um, only come out when you do the moves like in MK2. I don't think they should be able to stay out. I actually liked it when you just did like the blade swipe or the blade fury in you know? it. Um. All right, playing. A video game asks, Mortal Kombat needs some nudity in it. <laughs> if you want, you know, <laughs> if you really want to see Scorpion's cock, by all means, send some emails to Warner Brothers and see how far that gets you. Get over <laughs> here! Uh, Chris Valles asks, how many fatalities will there be overall? Will there be different types and how many per character? Like I said in the intro, I don't know the exact number of fatalities per character, and Ed Boon also wouldn't confirm friendships, babalities, or animalities. He said if they're in the game, they're going to be top secret. So, uh, Moors, Morsel 101 asks, how much will DLC change how popular this game will be upon its opening release? I don't think it'll really change. I mean, it's going to be popular on the release. It's going to do really well. And when people get hands on and play it, you know, fighting game people, they're going to go back to it. It's going to be really big. I think it's just going to expand that when, you know, when initial sales start to die off. So, you know, um, Mortal Kombat has such a big vast of characters. You've got the mega popular ones like your Scorpion, Sub-Zero. Then you've got your mid-range popular characters like, you know, maybe Cabal or Shang Tsung. And then you've got your low characters, you know. Um, so... You know, they're probably not going to put the low characters in the game, but they'll probably save the mid-range characters for, for DLC. Uh, okay. The... And... 
Satsuken asks, have you seen any Raiden gameplay yet? No, I haven't. We've only seen the video, um, which I assume means he's in the game, but I have not seen any Raiden gameplay yet. Michi Ni May U 0 asks, did you by any chance, uh, hmm, I don't know, hear the character select music, if you did, what did it sound like? Um, actually, when I was sitting there watching, watching it, a few times, I watched it three times, I tried to hear the character select music and I couldn't hear anything. So there was either nothing or it was very, it was turned down because, um, Later on, if you heard that or you listened to the audio thing, you can hear you can hear the Living Forest music even in my recording. But that's when they turned up the music when Hector stopped talking. So Hector was talking at the start, so I didn't hear anything. You know, I would have loved to have heard the character select music, but I believe all the music they used in the E3 version was old, just from old games anyway. It's just until they get the music made up. I you know I mentioned in my MKDC video that I was disappointed with the music. I love that tune, but um. We need a character select music, we need a different music, sorry. Uh, Steve the Morrow 1997 asks, when is the game coming out? March 2011. Metal Prince 69 asks, uh, hi TMK, this is my first time ever posting, man. I love your descriptions of the arenas and characters. I'm a blind MK fan, and with your discussion it feels like I can see the characters all over again. Uh, that's very cool. Um, yeah, I put that in there actually because yeah, I've been there's been a few people sending me messages saying they're blind MK fans. So I don't know. <laughs> so some guy sent me a message on Twitter. Unless it's the same guy, I don't know. Maybe it's a coincidence. But you know, a blind MK fan character Ed Boon uh, ch challenged Ed Boon a while back and beat him, I believe. So. Um, Fox Dude Fifteen asks, "Does uh, Johnny Cage get his shadow uppercut from the previous games, or has it been replaced by that flip kick?" I tried to do the shadow uppercut, like by pressing back down back and all the buttons. I couldn't get it to come off, so uh, it might be there, might not. Um, I can't, I can't remember honestly if it was on the menu. So I hope it is. It's a good move. Um, Da U I two two three asks, "What does Tremor look like? Does it move or remain idle in the, uh, in the Colosseum? Nah, he moves around. He's like sort of like he's like, he's like fighting off the peasants, you know." So, oh, he asked another question. Okay, here we go. Da U two two three. What are some of the victory poses? Oh, okay, Scorpion drops down into the Nether realm. Um, Okay. <laughs> Is that exploded or something? Uh, Kung Lao puts the hat on. Goes into a cool pose. Uh, uh, Melina's was very cool. She does that mm <laughs> thing where she rubs her body, you know. That's awesome. Um, she turned the printer off. Okay. Blind and Chains X40 asks, is there a possibility to see more of the MK Ninjas? What do you mean, see more? I'm sure you will. Who knows? <laughs> uh, VHDVE asks, do you think that they will put Monster from Deception Conquest in the game as a secret fighter? I have a feeling they will because the character, he seems to be a character who they could elaborate on his story. Um, I don't think so. I don't think we'll ever see Monster again. <laughs> uh, it could be a cool character, but he was honestly just, he was just a filler for the story, really. Triggered asks, can you please find us a picture of the Tormentor? Sure. Lawrence237 uh, asks, will there be anything like a co-op tag team for online play? Something that will have different battle plans like MK3, MK3, MK4. Uh, Co-op tag team. Hmm. I'm not sure. No idea. Uh, I only saw the modes that were in the E3 version. 
Chinook Prime asks, would Scorpion Super Move be when he breathes fire through his mouth? That's his fatality. Um, he has a move where he goes on fire. I'm sure that has some sort of Super Move variation. Chris Velaz asks, how many fatalities will there be in the game? Will there be different types and how many per character? Uh, we, I already answered this one, so I'm going to move on to the next question. Uh, Rua Lee asks, do you think Ermac is going to be in MK9 and do you think Shao Kahn and Kintaro are going to be boss and sub-boss again? I think that would be fucking awesome. I think that would be fucking awesome too. Uh, do I know? No, I don't know. Um, I don't think... Uh, Ermac may be in the game. Hard to say. Uh, Shao Kahn's in the game. We don't know about Kintaro, but I think they'll put him in. But I don't think I don't know if they'll be boss and sub boss. So Morsel one oh one asks who's already asked it. These people asked two questions, man. Greedy, look, I'm not even through page one yet. Uh, as mentioned in one of your other videos, just to make it official, what are the chances of a four versus four or more endurance mode being added? An endurance mode, yeah, there was something called um some sort of tower mode or something on the menu, but they didn't show it at E3. Uh, X, ZX Amiga 64, cool username, asks, my question is, can Total MK fans expect a more detailed review of MK Shalom Monks in the future? Great videos, cheers. I think so, yeah. Um, I sort of rushed that review, um, so maybe, yeah. I'd like to do something longer about that. Shalom Monks was a very cool game. Uh, Heavy Metal 84 asks, do you want uh, as MK9 sub boss Goro, Kintaro, or Motaro? Goro, yes. Kintaro, yes. Motaro, no. Um, honestly, I never thought Motaro was that great of a character. Sure, I had fun fighting him in MK3, but uh, I'm actually surprised that the, the backlash the fans have uh, posted all over the internet when, when he became too legged and, you know, the MK team had to do it because of technical issues. You know, they couldn't make a, th a four-legged model or for whatever, you know, whatever reason. And the fans got real pissed off, you know, but they would have been more pissed off if he wasn't in the game, so that sort of pisses me off. I hope Motaro never comes back, honestly, because it's just, he's the only character that's got four legs. It's a bit of a headache. I'm no goth one asks, if Kintaro does show up as a playable character, what fatality would you like to see him have? Um, you know, I love the Mortal Kombat movie, and I always thought the, the scene, you know, I love the movie, it's a great movie, but there's a few scenes uh, I wouldn't mind making it a little bit more violent, like the opening scene is really violent, but the scene where Goro kills Art Lee, he sort of just hits him, just like knocks him out, and I always thought that was shit, you know, like he should have like beat the fuck out of him, um, you know, like he already beat the fuck out of him, but like... It could have like, you know, like, could have gone crazy, you know. That would be cool if Kintaro had that in the game. He picks you up with the two arms and just beats the fuck out of you with the other two arms. I think that would be sweet. Uh, Sub-Zero Smoke Rain asks, In Khan's Coliseum, supposedly Sonya was chained up in the background. Did you see her or is this just ruminations? Definitely ruminations. I played the game for two hours. I watched the demo three times. And the only people in the background were Kira and Princess Katana. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's another question. Sub Zero Smoke Rain. Uh, when, when they were talking about the roster, do you think that they were hinting at some characters not from 2D series to appear, such as Rico or Quan Chi? Uh, I think so, yes, because I believe they've mentioned somewhere that Rain's going to be in the game. So. I'm sure a few characters from the, the 3 MKs might make an appearance. I think Quan Chi will. Ryan Incorporated asks, Game Informer in the latest magazine listed Shao Kahn as confirmed on the roster list. I'm assuming that he means he'll be a playable character. Can you further confirm this? I can't confirm it. I'm sure they've put it down just because he's in the intro video. But most likely he'll be a playable character. Uh, Bobby Bofan, Bobby Bofan, whatever, uh, asks, uh, when is it out? March 2011. The Wu Shu fan asks, as I hear to you, tag team were demonstrated on Karen's Coliseum. What happened with the bodies of the fighters when you defeat them? 
of the team, like they do they fall down somewhere or stay lying on the floor like in MK1. I believe they stayed lying on the floor. Yeah, they stayed lying on the floor because there was no nothing to interact with in that arena. Uh, in the dead pool, yeah, they fell in the acid, and in the pit two, they fell off the pit, which I thought was awesome. Uh, Brandon Heat Eight asks. Would you ever consider a fighting, a fan fighting day where you have your fans complete an online tournament in Mortal Kombat of your choice, uh, and whoever wins out of, let's say, 20 people can get the chance to face you? You could even make a dummy account to do this so you don't get a billion friend requests. It's a great idea, honestly, and I'd love to do it. Um, you know, but the the thing that sucks is I can't play Mortal Kombat properly online. It's shit, you know. Um, the ping is just so bad from Australia to the rest of the world, so, you know, I'm pretty much limited to an Australian tournament, which would suck, because all my fans are in America, so. <coughs> if you want to see what I'm talking about, check out my YouTube video of Fans vs. Developers. I, I fight Hector Sanchez, and the, the match lasts five seconds before it pings out, you know. And even if it stays connected, it's mega, mega slow and laggy, so it makes it really hard, honestly. But I'd love to do that, that'd be awesome, man. Uh, Human Hater 9 asks, what are the rest of the characters you wish to be in the game? Oh, that's a long list. Um, Sindel, Shang Tsung, uh, Cabal, uh, Cyrax, uh, Kano. Um, Braka, uh, Kintaro, Goro, uh, Striker. Excuse me. I'm still getting under the cold, you know. Mm. Striker. <coughs> my spot now. Shit. I could keep I could keep mentioning characters, but I'm gonna move on. Big Willy style one, two, three, four, five, six, seven asks uh, how you the characters see their weapons in their combos because they don't have styles this time around. I noticed Sub Zero, Scorpion and Kung Lao use their weapons in the game as part of a combo and I don't know how that works. Um yeah, I believe it's sort of automatic as you chain the combo, um, they pull out weapons, but I honestly don't remember, to be honest. Gamerzoid Extreme asks, don't you think that it's possible if Noob Cyber or Gor Goro make an appearance? Oh, it's definitely possible. Uh, I'm not a big Noob Cyber fan, but a lot of people are. Buffet the Gamer Eater question, uh, Buffet the Gamer Eater asks, in your request, in your opinion, should the animalities be in the game with the tech they have to go this time around? Much more potential from much better and more creative animals. Your opinion? Hell yes. Uh, I already mentioned, I believe I've mentioned in videos before that animalities haven't been in a game since MK3 and I believe if they put it in now, they can make it really violent. Like, you know, if you've ever seen a, a like cat attack a mouse or a cat fight with another cat, you know, there's something very unsettling and vicious about that sort of killer instinct or, like in these animals and if you're able to capture that that killer instinct that scary that scary behavior and put that into an animality attack on the other character I think you'd have a you know, lots of blood lots of scratching <laughs> um, Yeah, I'm awesome. 77 asks, what's taking NetherRealm Studios so long to announce new characters? It's been like a month since the trailer's released. Shouldn't we at least have another trailer showing off some new characters going out? Tell me about it, man. They're giving everything to the magazines, you know? And I'm not going to bitch like I have in all the other videos, but it sucks. Alright, next question. Mr. Halo 9 asks, do you think there's going to be a human smoke? Um, I'm sure smoke will be in the game. I don't know if it'll be human or robot form. <clears throat> AJ Balia asks, 
Is it Melina Scythe? Is Melina Scythe or A a charge move again? God, I hope not. I'm sorry, it is. I know because I did it at E3. Or in the E3 version, it was a, it was a charge move. So, AJ Balia uh, asks, what females do you think will be in the game? Melina, Sonia, Katana, Kira, Sindel. Should be bad here. Oh, leave me. Um, Busy99 Ways asks, I have two questions. Do you know when the demo is coming out? Uh, and what do you think about the DLC? Will there maybe be more characters? Um, a lot of people think there's a demo coming out, but they haven't really confirmed anything anywhere, as far as I know. So, I hope there's a demo. It'd be awesome. Usually, if a demo comes out, it's usually a, four months, a few months before release. It's usually not that you know, soon after E3 or anything. Um, and, oh, and what do I think about DLC? Will they maybe be more, will there maybe be more Of course there will be. I'm not sure. The DLC will come after the game's release, so. Uh, Dadman1988 asks, Recently Sega announced that they will be bringing Dreamcast titles to PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade. Did any of the MK team say if the Mortal Kombat Gold will be among these titles? No, they didn't, but I hope it is. Um, I actually played um, like Crazy Taxi at um, E3, and you know I love the Dreamcast, so I, I hope they do bring a lot of the catalog out. But you know, there's probably some legal bullshit with that too, so I don't know. Uh, Icky Man asks, does it feel like uh, the PS2 MKs will it feel familiar or fresh and new things? It'll feel fresh and new and familiar. The control and the play, the gameplay will feel very old school, but the environments and that will be new and refreshing. Bathed in Blood. Oh, cool, a Dexter fan. I'm a Dexter fan. Dexter's my favourite TV show. Alright, uh, Bathed in Blood asks, do you think the digitised characters of the first three games hold a better look to the game than 3D, or do you think there will be new MK will hold up? Hold a success like Street, Super Street Fighter 4. Um, it's really hard because um, we haven't had the characters digitised for a long time, but it makes me think, what would it be like now, now with technology now, if we digitise the character now, it'll look a lot better. So, like, it could look really interesting. And then again, it might look shit. So, I think we're used to the 3D now, and I think they're going to stick with the 3D. Uh, Gibby... T Gibby T F F L asks, do you think that the new M arcade MK joysticks will be made for the March 2011 release? I hate fighting with the 360 controller and would love an arcade feel to the fighting. Totally agree, man. Um, yeah, I think they should definitely have like some sort of special edition or Mortal Kombat um, joystick. You could have it like. The M you could have interchangeable skins that go around the buttons, like you could have like the MK1 skin, which was all red with the green dragon. We could have like the MK2 skin, which was like that, you know, that marble with the lightning coming down. We could have like the MK3 skin, which again was just like the, the concrete or the marble. I think that'd be cool. Uh, Morsel 101, again, this guy, man, how many questions did this guy ask? Uh, Morsel 101 asks, uh, will MK9 be worthy of purchasing the PS3 console? Fuck yes. Next question. Oh, sorry. He goes on. I, I cut that off. Sorry. Will MK9 be worthy of purchasing the PS3 console specifically for the control pad as many of us experienced on UMK3 online did not like the 360 pad. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree the 360 pad's a bit annoying, but I was still able to play it, you know? I don't think, think you need to go to the extremes of buying a new console, especially when there's a lot of third-party controllers out there, so you might want to give one of those a go. Uh, MK Rules 12 asks, will there be cheats like on the snares? No idea. Uh, Juni Ar Arini Snatch asks, is Shagan going to be playable? I hope so. I do not know. Uh, Kusagani666 asks, Who do you think will be in MK9? Oh shit, that's a big list. I've already mentioned some of the characters, so I'm going to go to the next question, because this is taking ages. <laughs> Dark Kemnenik asks, Dark Kemnenik asks, 
will there be Mortal Kombat Special Collector's Edition when the game comes out, like they did in Deception, having all those feats by the videos? I'm sure there will be a special edition, um, but I don't know what's going to be in it. I asked Ed about it, and they said they've had discussions, so... But they didn't say if there definitely will be one or not, but I'm sure there will be. You know. uh, Agran Ad Os 0101 asks, is there a nude mod for Molina? Hope so. You know, we might see Molina's rack. <laughs> Next question. Uh, Peter Griffin Double asks, are there, are the endings going to be animated or pictures still? Uh, this was answered in an interview, I believe, with Chris from Kamidogu. Um, they're going to be, they're not going to be pictures and they're not going to be videos. They're going to be like something in between. So I think it's going to be in-game rendered footage, you know, in the environment, which I think will be cool. You know, like Gears of War and that, you know, the cutscenes of Gears of War are in-game, you know, they use the engine to generate. And the engine's very nice, so it's going to look cool. Uh, Ilagia asks, what are your thoughts on story mode? How is the story going to twist or how long is it? What are your expectations? I think Ed said it's a lot longer than the um, MK vs DC. Uh, I believe he said three times longer. I'm not sure. If you go back and watch my interview with Ed, you'll get the answer. Uh, my expectations. Um, I think it's just going to be great. I can't wait. I even like the MK DC story. I had a lot of fun playing that. It was really well thought out and, and it was awesome. Can't wait to play it. You know, solely focused on the Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3 story. I think it's going to be awesome. Blood Rain 2224 asks, do you think Smoke will stay human or turn into a robot? Uh, that was already asked, so I'm going to move on to the next question. Pain Train 88 asks, on the main menu, did you saw, did it move like MKDC? Scorpion comes down and shoots a spear at Batman, etc. Um, I don't know if the menu's final, but it had... Scorpion uppercutting or hitting Sub Zero in the back and like blood spraying up. It looked really cool. Uh, I don't think it was like very animated though, but you know, it probably will be. Uh, li little Ben869 asks Does every move have their own special version? For example, the Scorpion Spear and his Elfmire move both have their own special versions, or are there one particular for every character? And what was your favourite super special movie? You saw at E3. Uh, I believe every move's going to have a special, but I'm not certain. Uh, the favourite one I saw at E3 was definitely Reptile's Force Ball. It looks really cool. Cause I like, you could do the Fast Force Ball and the Slow Force Ball. And then you could do the Super Force Ball, which uses this huge Force Ball. You know, and yeah, really put the pressure on the other player. Uh, Noble Wolf asks, was it easy to pull off moves using the D-pad, analog stick, or did it feel a little clunky? I never play Mortal Kombat with the analog stick. I always play it with the D-pad. Um, and it was very easy to play the game. I played on both the PS3 version and the 360 version and didn't have trouble playing either version. Rex the Gamer asks, would you ever consider doing a walkthrough of Resident Evil 4? I guess so. I can't say at this time. Um, Oh, or Quest Code. Oh, oh, sorry, he said Resident Evil 4 or Conquest Mode from Armageddon. Yeah, I guess so. That could be fun. Maybe I will do a walkthrough of the of the story modes one day, you know. I'll do them all, you know. So, I don't know when that'll be, though. Uh, 2 Wildcard asks, Will Reptile have his tongue fatality? And what do you think of his of a human ninja alt costume for him and morphing for Shang Tsung? Morphing for Shang Tsung is a very good question. Uh, will Reptile have his tongue fatality? No idea. He, at, the, at the moment, in the E3 version, he vomits acid into their throat and sort of then rips out their stomach or something. Um, I think a human ninja skin would be great. Um, I hope, yeah, I hope um, the morphing's in the game. It's very... I've missed that from MK2, so... But it's very hard these days with so much technology involved with the characters. Uh, Chrissy004 asks... Uh, do the chicks dig the TMK goatee? I think so. I mean, I think it's pretty hairy. Do the chicks dig it? Yeah, I'd say yeah. 
Two wild card asks, what would you like Reptile's alt costume to be? I'd love to see him in it. That's, he asked the same question earlier. Human Ninja Form to be revised in the Sanctions Morphing. Yeah, that's the one I just answered. Next question. Uh, JB Thrash asks, does each character feel different? For example, do they have, do they jump differently, move differently? Are some faster? Do they have unique attacks? Well, of course, they have, all have unique attacks. Um, they all move at the same speed because anyone who moves faster has got a big advantage in Mortal Kombat. Uh, they have different poses and things like that. Yeah. Ramir, Ramir 180 asks, do you think Shang Tsung should have morphing? Yes. Oh, morphing ability in MK9. Definitely. I hope so. Um, but yeah, the technology uh, can really limit that. So. Noma Sai One Sick asks, "Will they release demo for this game for the PS3 and Xbox 360?" I hope so. Uh, no idea. No. Spliff 1916 asks, "Do you know if they are going to put secrets in the game, and what do you think uh, would be a good one?" I'm hoping Goro as a secret boss would be amazing. Um, secrets, I think. Uh, it's going to be cool, you know, unlocking secrets. I hope they put a lot in, not just a few. Uh, yeah, secret battles, unlocking secret characters even, you know. I think it would be awesome like that. Um, it would be good if you had characters locked on the select screen and only by fighting them, unlocking the secret, are they unlocked on the select screen. So, say, uh, say you know how you fight Reptile in Mortal Kombat 1, you, you know, on the pit you get a double flawless, no blocking, you do fatality, you know, one player, you have to have the shadows. Imagine after you fought Reptile and beat him, if you unlocked Reptile in MK1, that'd be cool, you know. But, um, yeah, something like that would be awesome. Uh, Dan7426170027 asks, Okay, here's my question. As Mortal Kombat 9 is going to be a sort of revamp of the earlier games, would you like the character selection to be made up of just characters, say, from 1 to Trilogy, or would you prefer some newer characters as well? I prefer some newer characters as well, like uh, Conchi. Uh, and I believe Rain's going to be in there, so... Jai Her Ramanu... Uh, Ramaru... <laughs> asks... Here's a good question. Do you think that Ed's going to keep... A god, that god awful MK versus DC fatality tune, or is he going to put in a remake of the classic dun 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 from the previous games? I didn't think the MK versus DC fatality music was that bad. It was in the E3 version, um, you know. So, <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Um, as opposed to MK1, which was. <laughs> And MK2, which was, um... Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, you know, they all changed. Um, maybe we'll get something totally new. Who knows? Uh, Wet Camera Inc. asks, Do the characters have their own voices when they get hurt? Or is, they taunt, uh, is, is there a taunt button? And if not, are there, are there moves that when you do them, the character says something? Um, it's very, it's too early in the, in the game to say, they all have different voices and they all have different taunts in the opening of the game, but I don't think there was a taunt button per se. Sorry if I'm having trouble reading these questions too, some of the English on these is real bad, like, uh, with this one, there, there was a question mark in the middle of the sentence before the end, so, you know, <laughs> I'm doing my best, okay, it's the internet, you know, uh, and my spelling is just as bad, so I'm not putting you guys down, you know, I'm, I'm like... I do shit like this too, you know, but I'm just doing my best to get through these questions. Carlos2006 full asks, uh, here's my question, do you think that they should put characters from the Mortal Kombat comic books in, which is book, Mortal Kombat comic books? Uh, no. I don't. That's it. <laughs> Next question, uh, Kaboom and Crossfire asks, do you think this is a remake of MK1 to 3? that all the combatants from those will be in this one. Not all will be in, but most of the popular ones will be, so... Yeah. Uh, Kike2068 asks, uh, 
you know, if you're trying to, if you're trying to have a racist name, you spelt it wrong, alright? If you're going to be racist, at least spell it right. It's K-I-K-E, not K-Y-K-E. Anyway, you know, I'll still answer your question, I'm a good guy. Uh, 2068 asks, is there new ways to attack blocking players besides a throw? Um... The best way to attack blocking is projectiles. If they're just standing there, you know, or just go right up to them and just roundhouse, 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 roundhouse until they do something, you know. If they stop, they're going to get hit, you know. That's what I did in NK2 anyway, you know. So if they're standing there just doing that, I'll just go right up to them and just go whack, 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 and just keep roundhousing them, you know. And then I might, and then, you know, I might do it four times, then I might do a trip, you know, if they decide to be clever and try and trip me, you know, I've already circumvented that by tripping them first, so. Um, that's the best way if someone's just blocking. Believe me, their energy goes down fast. Uh, Christian L O Z N O one one has. Would it be badass if they created a mode where you can switch the graphics from three D to old school two D graphics, and with the same mocap actors? Also, since the storyline is going through MK one two three, would the DLC Characters be the combatants from MK4 and MK Armageddon. No idea about the DLC yet, because it's going to be later. Uh, I think, yeah, it would be cool if you could unlock, you know, digitized actors as opposed to 3D ones, but, you know, I doubt that'll be in the game. Uh, King Piccolo Damio asks, Game sounds awesome and I'm psyched, but what's your favourite and least favourite of the game's new features? Uh, my favourite... It's just seeing all the old school levels in, in this new 3D, um, you know, this new touched up engine, you know, it's just awesome. My least favourite, uh, honestly, I, I don't know, I, there wasn't much I didn't like about the game, so I'd have to say my least favourite thing, I guess I could say there could be more characters. 28 is a fair, a fair bit though, but you know, I want them to balance the, balance the game right, so there's really not much I don't like, so. Um, uh, Recto Leftovers, nice. Ask, uh, are the game, are the, sorry, are the punches mapped to square X like Mortal Kombat 2, 3, and the kick zero triangle, are they mapped like MKDC where the punches square triangle and kick zero? Like I said with the controls, you know, it depends on the character. Punch isn't just marked to X or kick, is, or kick isn't just marked to, you know, Y or whatever, you know. Depends on the character. Uh, Hunk091 asks, do you think smoke will appear in MK9? I think that would be just awesome. I think it'd be awesome too. I don't know though. The Wushi fan asks, is it painful for you now? to wait the new Mortal Kombat game so long after you already played it. I guess I was lucky because I got to play it. You guys didn't get to play it, you know. Um, and yeah, it's painful for me to have to wait a year to play the new Mortal Kombat game. But I mean, it's more painful for you guys because you haven't played it at all. So you got to wait a bit longer. But, um, you know. Yeah, I can't wait to get hands on with it again. Chris Velez asks, how many fatalities will be in the game? At least two. That's Ed Boon's exact words. Oh, will there be different types? How many fatalities per character? I don't know how, if there will be different types. They're secret. That's what Ed said. Kusatnagi666 asks, Do you think there will be conquest mode like in MKD and MK9? It's not conquest mode, it's story mode. How many times do I have to tell you guys this? The conquest mode, it was in MK Deadly Alliance, MK Deception. That was the story mode. That was the storyline mode. You call it story mode, even though it's conquest mode, you know? So it doesn't matter what game, you know, in Armageddon it was, you know, conquest mode. In DC it was the, the story mode, you know? It's just story mode. So yes, there's the story mode. It's not called conquest mode, okay? I got a lot of questions with that one. Teo Bujin asked, what do you think the hidden content will be in the offline mode? I think there'll be a, a pretty big crypt. I think there'll be a lot of uh, uh, a lot of videos, movies, pictures, interviews, things like that. Hidden characters, skins, 
mostly will be the unlockable stuff. Unlockable arenas. Uh, I hope they have DLC for arenas too. Um, GG Games 2009 asks, are X and Square Punches and Triangles and Kids? This was already asked uh, further up, you know, with the, the kicks and punches. Um, are they X and Triangle? Blah, blah, blah. I already answered that. Rerox666 asks, did you get a chance to play the game single player? If so, was it so difficult and cheap as, it, as MK3 was? In the E3 versions of MK, they always make it easy. That's because you don't go there to get your ass handed to you. You go there to see what the games are like. So they always put the uh, difficulty down in the E3, in E3 versions. I clocked the game about uh, five times. And when I say I clocked the game, I clocked the E3 version. There was no boss. You fight the eight characters or six characters, and then it says thank you for playing the E3 version of Mortal Kombat. You know, that's, uh, that's how it works. So, yeah, I clocked it a few times. Um, KBG 12 ILA asks, I'm just wondering, when you unlock characters and fatalities, will you have to buy them from the PlayStation Store or the Xbox version, or will you unlock them in the game? Will they encrypt, or will it be DLC with all the characters? <coughs> um, some will be unlockable, I reckon. They'll be encrypt. Some will be unlockable and some will be DLC, so I think it'll be a little of both. But I don't have any confirmation of that. Uh, that and they've asked another question, KBG12 ILA asks, I've heard about the DLC characters, will there be more than one DLC character or will there be more than one because you said one spot? Uh, for DLC, your videos are the best, thanks for your help. Um, basically, uh, it'll be, I'm sure it'll be like it was in MK vs DC. There was one spot and when you pressed it, the box came up and then you press the left and right bumpers to cycle through Shao Kahn or Dark Side. So, Dark Side, Dark Side, Dark Side, Dark Side. Yeah, yeah, Dark Side. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm sure it'll be like that. You'll probably go on the DLC box and a box will come up and then in that box you'll be able to scroll the characters, you know. That's usually what they do. Subaru XT6 asks, do you think Baraka and Shiva will be in the game? I think Baraka will be, and I don't think Shiva will be. But, I don't know. They are brutal fighters. Yes, they are. Uh, 25 Cool Y1 asks, do you know how each character has X-ray attack? You know the Bone Breaker. What I'm asking is, will each character have more than one Bone Breaker attack? Or just like the one Cage Punch? Like cage punches you in the nuts and then does another take will it be one set of bone breaker I'm, I'm gonna say I, I think it will probably just be one but uh, x-ray move per character because it's um you know it's not just he punches him in the balls and that's it you know he usually does another hit then another hit like a three three hit sort of thing you know but I don't think there'll be different ones but I don't know you know I only saw the e3 version so um so B1 asks, do you think Shao Kahn will be a playable character? Because, I mean, in MK Trilogy, he was the boss character uh, and really unbalanced, but in the later games, he was okay. What do you think? I think he will be in the game, and I think he will be a boss, but I can't say for sure. Um, I hope he is. Uh, Liam771 asks, do you know if they will bring any of the old modes back, such as chess combat, puzzle, and tournament mode? I know they are just having tag team, which looks really cool, but I was also wondering... That's it. Um, <clears throat> like I said, they're going to have that sort of endurance mode, that tower mode, or oh, I forgot the name of it. should have looked before I started this video. It's, it's in one of... Um, I'll, I'll put up a, a picture here, and you can see. You see? Um, so, yeah. That's the modes that were listed in the E3 version. Will they be in the final version of the game? I don't know. I only played the E3 version. No, I wish I knew more. They didn't believe me. They don't, you know, even though I'm the MK guy, they don't tell me anything. You know, they talk about, you know, working on the game and what they're doing and how cool it's going to be, but they won't confirm anything. They won't, if I say, will Shadow Khan be in the game? They'll say, I can't say. <clears throat> but if I say, um, you know, is there a good chance he'll be in the game? They'll say, oh, maybe. It'll, like that, you know. And like, you know, so, you know, that's it. That's it. That's all the questions answered. That was a lot of questions. Four pages of questions. I tried to make it all... I made it all neat on the computer, and then when I pressed print, they came out like shit, so... <laughs> uh, um, I want to...
want to thank you guys for watching my my five part little series on the Mortal Kombat game. Uh, it's over now, so I've got a few other videos to do about uh, a few E3 things. I've got a Gears of War video. I've got a um, a video review on a controller that was given to me by the Afterglow company. Uh, I got a new Xbox, the new Xbox that was given to me by Microsoft. So I'll do a video about that. Um, yeah, and then hopefully get back to the Mortal Kombat Conquest reviews. So yeah. Um, once again, thanks for watching. It's been fun. <coughs> Have a sip. I've earned it. I don't know how long this video been. Maybe forty minutes. I'm guessing forty. Sorry, it's long, but you know a lot of questions. So not my fault. Not my fault this time. Alrighty, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again.